Hey everyone, thanks for joining me in the dojo today. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, the Fair for Uber Car Program. Now, if you're like me, I got tired of driving my car and uh, I wanted to try something new and different, so I checked out the Fair for Uber Car Program. I used to drive a 2013 Prius, then I used the Fair Program and I got a really clean and spacious Hyundai Elantra with a great stereo system for $195 per week plus taxes. That includes everything, your rideshare insurance, and unlimited miles. And since Fair partners with Uber, you can earn a very strong bonus for a relatively low number of trips and pay for the car. This program is available in California for now, but there are programs all across the country. So check the Fair website for prices in your market. Some drivers are even getting their first week for free. So check it out. Download the Fair app and get a car today. It's a great program. And be sure to use our code, which is RSG100. That's our code, RSG100, so we get credit for sending you there. All right, all right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, before I get started, have I told you about Audible? Well, you can sign up today and get a free audiobook from Audible. This week, I am recommending a book I am reading right now, which is great for entrepreneurs and anybody interested in productivity. It's called Brain Rules by John Medina. I'm actually listening to it right now. You can go to therideshareguy.com forward slash audible, that's A-U-D-I-B-L-E, for a 30-day free trial and a free audiobook. Audible is great for drivers to learn on the road. Go to therideshareguy.com forward slash audible and get Brain Rules by John Medina. All right, I'm recommending that book this week. Let's start the show. Okay, Dojo Nation, we got a special guest today, Mr. Jonathan Hewn. Am I, pronoun- am I pronouncing that correctly, Mr. Jonathan you Hewn? You absolutely did. Thank you so much. All right, great. So uh, as many of my guests have done, he contacted me through the RideshareDojo.com website, sent in a form, said, uh, I got some stuff I'd like to talk about. And I said, great. So uh, Jonathan goes by the Shore Driver and uh, lives in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Welcome to the dojo. Jay, I want to thank you so much. Um, it's an honor to uh, to be on your show. Cool, very good. I uh, when I drive around and people, you know, have come in from New Jersey, I tell them that um, two of my favorite things in the whole world come from New Jersey. And of probably a hundred people that I've said that to over the years, only one person has been able to guess what those two things are. Would you like to well, have a would you, role? <laughs> nope. See, you're already out of contention there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Most people guess Bruce Springsteen, and that is abs- yep. that is absolutely correct. But no one gets the second thing, which is the the Sopranos. Love the Sopranos. Ah, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> tell me, uh, uh, you know, how long, how long have you been driving, and um, what kind of driving have you been doing there in New Jersey? Um, I've been driving for about a year and a half. I started um, back in the summer of 2018. Um, I right now I, I drive probably two, three nights a week, maybe. Um, I'm a I'm a pharmacist by trade, mm-hmm. so um, so I uh, you know I have to limit my time, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you know, I I pretty much drive. Like it says in my name, you know, along the shore, mm-hmm. uh, 
I try to keep it from like, uh, you know, seaside heights all the way up to maybe, um, Red Bank, New Jersey, maybe a little more North, whatever. Um, you know, and on the side I have the shore driver, um, as my side biz, uh, you know, as well as Uber and Lyft. Okay. So, so you're, you're a full-time pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so what happened? You just, you, you were there filling bottles with, uh, with uh, penicillin or whatever the heck you put in those little bottles. <laughs> I, I don't get sick very often. I don't, I don't go in very, I guess, I guess I've gone in for antibiotics uh, once I remember doing that. But anyway, so you've been working as a pharmacist and what, ha what happened? You just decided, you know, I could make a little extra money or it really would interest me, you know, just getting out and, and meeting people out on the road. What, what, what was the impetus that got a pharmacist to say, "Huh, I think I, I think I want to go drive my car around for money"? Well, well, the thing is, is that I mean, I could go work in other stores and make more money, most likely as a pharmacist. You know, if I wanted to pick up extra hours and things like that. Yeah. But after you know you do your job for the week, you're like, you know, I I, I want to do something different, and yeah. then I also wanted to get into the area of, you know, um, you know, more than just driving for Uber, you know, a, a, a big, um, uh, person that I've, that I've watched a lot on YouTube is the simple driver and, um, his name is Calvin Hill. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I was like, wow, if, if he can make that look so fun and interesting, and I was like, you know what? I want to give that a whirl. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much what I did. My wife kept saying, you know, we, we got to pick up extra money, this and that. My daughter just graduated from college. Right. I have a son who's a sophomore in high school. So I'm like, we need a little extra cash. And um, I'm like, let me go give this a whirl. And then, you know, I, then I've been learning about building websites and all that type of stuff and, and, and getting into the whole um, Internet marketing. And so there's a lot of different avenues I like to pursue. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, um. So I'm not familiar with the guy you just mentioned, um, but is you're talking about uh, uh, like a private private driving, correct? Uh, he's he, he's a big you know kind of like um, uh, hmm, like 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 you guys like you know the uh, the rideshare guy you know you guys have YouTube uh, videos um, right. right this guy he goes by the simple driver uh -huh. and um, his name is Calvin Hill. And, um, you know, I just have been trying to model after that. And, you know, it, it, it just to me seems like there, there's more money in this in this area if you pursue it correctly. Right, right. So you're not in addition to the driving, also making videos and, and things like that. Yes. That, that, yeah, there's, that, that, that interests you. I see. Exactly. So right now I'm just trying to hone my skills as a driver. Yeah. And then get into, you know, teaching about and kind of kind of more or less model answering you and uh, Harry Campbell. Right. Right. OK. And let's just put a plug out there for uh, your website, which is the shore driver dot com. Right. Yes. The shore driver dot com. So. Um, so the private driving you do. So how does that happen? So. When, when you're driving people around, do you give them your, your card? Do you have a card you hand them and say, if you ever need a ride to the airport, you know, give me a call. I'll be sure and take care of you. Or how, how, do, you, um, how do you promote the private gig? Right. I, I will do that. And it's, it's, it's word of mouth. Yeah. It's word of mouth um, right now. Um, and, you know, actually, you know, through, through my work uh, as a pharmacist, you know, when I talk to people that way. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's going slow, but it's going, and um, it's really all it's really all about networking, isn't it? Exactly. O opening Absolutely. your mouth, saying hello, and saying here's what I could do for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, well, great. So you're like a entrepreneur at heart, uh, not just a pharmacist. You got you got some some dreams of doing some other things, which which I applaud. That's really uh, great, 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 great. Um, have you started a YouTube channel yet? Um, I'm in the process of learning how to do that. I want to set it up properly, so I'm trying to not ju not jump into it too quickly. Yeah. Um, although you know, I've 
I've done a lot of research. Um, you know, I've, I've followed a lot of different people on, you know, learning about to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, I will definitely in the, in the near future, probably in the next six months or so, I'd like to get a YouTube, YouTube channel going. Yeah. Great. So as, so as a driver, um, particularly, yeah, for, for either the private driving or Uber and Lyft, what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned, um, you know, that's contributed towards, towards your success as a driver? Towards my success as a driver? Um, I guess my biggest thing uh, is, 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 is kindness and learning mm -hmm. to um, how to deal with people better, actually. I mean, my job as a pharmacist, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I deal with people every day. Um, but you know, this, this just is a different, a different way of, of dealing with people and, um, helping people. Yeah. That's basically where, where I'm at, you know? It's, and I, I wind, I find that I wind up in my car. Once I tell them that I'm, I'm a pharmacist, a whole new door opens where, you know, I can help them, um, you know, if they have any medical issues or things like that and advice that I might give that way. So, right, right. Right. There's a different, I would imagine, a different level of intimacy um, having somebody in your car versus, um, you know, it, interacting with them at, at the at Rite Aid or wherever it is you work. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, uh, I find it remarkable how intimate it can get at, at times. Because, um, you know, who knows what people are going through? I've had, you know, I've had a, I remember a woman crying because somebody had died. She just heard the news and she was going to comfort somebody, but she was just mm -hmm. sobbing in the back seat. You know, I've taken people to the city hall who were about to get married, you know, uh, and you just catch people in different phases of their, of their life. And, and, uh, and since they, I think, I think because we both know we'll probably never see each other again, there's like a freedom to say whatever you want to say. Right, because uh, right, there's th exactly. there's no repercussions to it. Yeah, yeah. I so very, you find that you you wind up telling, you know, the the actual truth to someone. You know. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's a. I um I wrote an article. It was like, uh, if driving is so bad, why do people keep doing it? You know, because there's so much negative press about being a driver and rates are going down and, you know, Uber and Lyft are just screwing us right and left and. And and I just said it's it's, it's yes maybe that's true it's not as great as it was four years ago but it's still okay and it's very stimulating it's you know you just every every shift I have one interaction that I can you know say I'll remember that interaction and it and it teaches me something or it makes me feel closer to somebody or you know there's just a great moment that happens almost almost every shift that I drive. And yeah, I have if, to agree with you. And if I weren't driving, I wouldn't be having that. You know, just would not be having it um, that that in my life. Um, okay, so kindness. So that's a great. Uh, I really love that the way you put that. Kindness is uh, the biggest lesson because um, it's true. It's it's easy to be very jaded in in life, and and if we're jaded as drivers, well, one, we don't get very good tips. Um, but and and two, you're right. It's just like human compassion. Just uh, being there for somebody else. Um, I like to think of it as being of service. And well, ex yeah, exactly. And you know, with with my professional side, um, that's that's on a daily basis. So you know, it's a type of psychology, uh, if you were per se. And you know, I I've learned how to deal with people. Uh, for the past 25 years that way. And so now when I ride, um, it's like second nature. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I can instantly tell if someone um, wants to talk or if they don't want to talk. Yeah. And if they don't want to talk, I just leave it be. And I let them, you know, run the conversation. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I can either uh, tell them as much as they want to hear or, or not. So it can go either way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also have found um, increasingly, my, you know, my skill of, uh, of listening uh, improving, you know, to where I'm not just some guy in the front seat, but they really can sense that I'm interested in, in, in you know, in paying attention to what they're saying, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just 
Oh yeah, whatever you know, whatever you you know, the way so many well, no, that's, conversations that's a good feeling, are. Though, isn't it? Oh, it's a great feeling. I think for both people. Yeah. 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 It's a it's a win win kind of a. What's been your uh, your best ride experience so far? If you had to pick one ride that was like, wow, that was great. Um. Let me think. Um. You know, all of all, I have so many, so many good. I, I'll say it like this: I have never had a bad ride experience. Hmm. Um, I I was thoroughly impressed by the way over over the past year and a half, how pretty much ninety nine point nine percent of the time people get in my car, it's yes sir, no sir, thank you very much. I mean, and I'm not old; I'm I'm forty eight years old. Mm-hmm. So, but it's all thank you. Even even the younger people, you know, twenty one to twenty five, they're all thank you very much, and I'm just like, wow, that's it's it's really nice to hear that the, the younger generation has such respect, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much of it is respect and how much of it is they just want to make sure they get their five star rating, you know? Um, <laughs> it's a it's a, probably a little bit of both, you know? They're, yeah, yeah. People do get kicked off the system, you know, if they're jerks. Um, and so do drivers. So the rating system definitely there, there's there's always that in the background. But the yeah, police, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're right. Uh, people in general are decent and and um, you know kind, like you said, kind. Um, so if I said your your worst ride experience, you not not even had one, huh? Um, you know, it's uh, I mean maybe two or three different people that might have been. A little on the on the drunk side, but you know they they there was no problem. So uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can't. I I mean there there might have been a couple passengers who who were in a bad mood per se, but you know I just didn't really talk to them. But that's that's about it. Yeah, um, I've never had any fights. I've never had any people, you know, um, uh, get belligerent or anything like that. So it's I I've had a really good experience so far. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. I've definitely had a few, um, and it wasn't even nighttime driving. It was daytime driving or it was, it was early in the morning and somebody, it was actually somebody who had been up, up all night, fell asleep in my car and I had to wake him up and, uh, he did not like getting woken up. Yeah. So that, that was my worst ride experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What are you going to do? You know? So, um, okay. So your big, so the kind of your objective then is you want to, uh, keep driving and, uh, kind of build a little internet business around it too. Um, with the YouTube channel and your website. And, uh, do, do you think you're going to do some blogging also? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely want to get some content out there. Um, right now I'm just, um, trying to balance everything, you know, trying to, sure. Yeah. figure out, you know, when to write, when to do whatever and um keep my wife happy at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh um I, I I get to see a lot of what goes on with the rideshare guy and um uh there's a lot to it, you know. There's just a whole lot to it, you know, with the different content, different topics, newsworthy items, and then there's this whole sales side of it and um you know, then you got your YouTube videos and then you got your podcasts and, you know, it's, there's a lot of moving parts. So I think uh, it sounds like you, you've got a good plan where it's just going to take it one day at a time, which uh, which is going to serve you well. Have you lived in New Jersey most of your life? Is that is that where you've been? Um, aside from when I went away to college, yeah, I I've, I've, was born and raised here. Mm-hmm. And if I, if I were to ask you what are your two favorite things about New Jersey, what would you say? Uh, living by the beach Mm -hmm. and, um, living by the beach. And I would have to say would probably be, uh, you know, um, Springsteen. (laughs) What what was that food you mentioned at the beginning? You never heard of pork roll? Pork roll. Yeah. It's like, it's Taylor ham. Okay. Yeah. Well, you never heard of a pork roll, egg and cheese sandwich? No. No, uh, no. You are you are missing out, my friend. All right. Well, next time I go to New York, I'm going to bop over to New Jersey, and I'm going to have to yeah, eat, the, and you eat this thing. Yeah, and you got to come to New Jersey because they don't have it in New York. No, fuck New York. Yeah, it's got. It's, <laughs> <laughs> we got to get over to Jersey. I um, 
in uh, the early 1990s, I had a company um, called Color Cart, and we uh, put advertising on shopping carts. And and uh, I expanded too fast, but I expanded t- into New Jersey. I forget the, the, the chain of stores that we worked with. So I, I've been out there a few times uh, driving up and down that state. It's so beautiful, really green. People forget, you know, they think of the industrial part of it, but it's really very beautiful, very beautiful state. Oh, well, that. Yeah. Did, um, so near the beach. So when Sandy hit, were you impacted by that? Um, yes. Well, my, my, my home was not, but oh, okay. where I worked was, yes. Yeah. Um, I was displaced into a different store for about five months. Yeah. Um, it was bad down here. It oh. was really bad because where I, where I worked at the time, which was Ortley Beach, which is right next to Seaside Heights. Um, that was ground zero for where Sandy hit. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was like, it was like a war zone for, for a bunch of months. Oh, it was devastating. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah. Just crazy. All right. Fantastic. So, um, let's just put out your website again, uh, the shore driver.com. All right. And, uh, if somebody wants a ride to the airport in the New Jersey area, uh, go to that website. And uh, they can contact you that way. Uh, yes, or they can um, they can email me at the shore driver at gmail dot com. Um, that's the best two ways. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'll put both of those two in the show notes. So um, I've got three questions that I ask everybody at the end of the interview. Um, first of the three questions is uh, Jonathan Hewn. What is your What is your favorite movie of all time? Favorite movie of all time, um, Goodfellas, probably. Mm, that's a that's that's in my top five for sure. That's a pretty great movie. I don't. I think I've seen it fifty times. I just love it so much. I mean, I I can watch it over and over and over again. I was uh, just yesterday cutting garlic, you know, and I was thinking about Polly cutting the garlic with the razor blade. Do you yep, remember that scene? Yeah. Yep, yep. Super thin, super thin pieces of garlic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it just melts. Yeah. It just melts, uh, liquefies. Yeah. Under the heat. Crazy. <laughs> good, good, good choice there. Um, and, and the, uh, what is it? The, the movie that's coming out, The Irishman, right? I want to see that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's Joe Pesci. That's in theater some, some places now. And, uh, I think it comes out on Netflix next month. No, you know what? I think I was incorrect. I, I don't think who was in that movie, The Irishman. Uh, it just came out, but Joe Pesci's in it, Robert De Niro's in it, Al Pacino's in it, Martin Scorsese. Oh, okay, I was Mar- correct. Right, Mar- okay. Martin Scorsese directed it. They're calling it an instant classic. Um, yeah, pretty fantastic. Very excited to see that. Um, great. Um, on your phone, what uh, what pictures do you have on the wallpaper on your phone? On my phone, oh, I have. I, I like to take sunrises because we get really, really nice sunrises. So I'll take a uh, picture of a sunrise mm-hmm. down at the beach and then I'll, On I'll the use water. that as my background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the bay and I some of my best pictures I get are, are the same, um, you know, as it comes up and it just lights up the water. It's so beautiful. That's great. Okay, um, so you're going to walk into a room. And your theme song is playing. This is like Jonathan's walking into the room, and this is your song that you want kind of set the set the tone for your your grand entrance into the room. What is that song? You're gonna love this one because um, I know you're a big fan. Um, Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I um, I uh, I just I just submitted a. Um, a, uh, a, a mag- uh, an article to Harry, an idea for an article. And I said, I want to write an article about 10 Led Zeppelin songs that you could use the song in, in a comment that you would share with a passenger. And then you could start talking about Led Zeppelin and get a bigger tip because, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 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 so like, uh, you know, like o- over the hills and far away, right? Yeah. And, um, what other one could uh, what else? down by the seaside? Yeah, yeah, that one. Go. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just going to take you down by the seaside. 
um, things like that. Oh, I got you. I can get for this area. I got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Rock and roll. There it is. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big weapon fan. Oh, well, people, people ask me, you know, uh, do, you, do I still listen to Led Zeppelin? Because it was such a big part of my life in high school, you know. And I'm like, heck yeah. I mean, I still cry when I listen to some of their songs, you know, if I'm in the right mood. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I mean, uh, oh, and, it, it, and don't get me going on uh, Dazed and Confused, like the 25-minute long version. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm like... <laughs> oh, here it comes! Here it comes! After the after the you know after he plays the uh, the the viol the uh, bow thing, you know, and it's yeah. I mean, I I, I yeah. I listen. Do you to have it. their? Do you have that movie that they made a while back? I have everything that they've made. Yeah. You know. Okay that that movie. What is it? Um, How the West know, Was Won. Uh, uh, no, it was the one where they have like 1970. Oh, in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, the yeah, song. Re- yeah. The song remains the same. Yeah. Song remains the same. Oh yeah. my god, that's freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy um, on YouTube called Mr. Jimmy, and he looks like Jimmy Page. He dresses like Jimmy Page, and he will play uh, exactly that performance. I mean, it's amazing. If you if you want to see a guy who looks just like you, he plays like him. It's amazing. This guy has spent his whole life, you know, perfecting Jimmy Page's you know note by note performances at different concerts. And wow. uh, yeah, he'll like he'll like do a Madison Square Garden, uh, Dazed and Confused, or he'll Madison Square Garden, you know, Rock and Roll. Or it's cr- great, crazy, Mister Jimmy. Yeah, well, that was great. That was great. I love. Uh, I love that. I love Led Zeppelin. Good call. Good call. All right, Mr. Jonathan, it was great talking with you. Uh, thank you for entering the dojo. Do you want to share any last words with uh, Dojo Nation out there? Um, uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, yourself and having me on the show. And um, it's been a pleasure. And um, kill him with kindness. That's all I can say. Nice, nice, nice. Kill him with kindness. All right, Jonathan, thanks a lot. All right, take care, my friend. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one-minute-per-day podcast called Nomad Daily in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna, it's going to automatically load up, and you're going to get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I'm really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.